Hey friends, Brian Baker standing out here outside the hospital. I've been visiting in the hospital today. And I wanna tell you something. That thing's a mess in there. People in there are sick, they're hurt, they're wounded, they're, it's a mess. I mean, they, they look terrible, their hair's messed up, their clothes are a mess. Some of them got on them hospital bags. They're groaning and carrying on and uh, it's just a sight in there. Doctors, nurses running around trying to help these folks and get things organized in there and beats all I've ever seen. I'll tell you, I come out of there and I think to myself, shoo, glad I work in a church instead of a hospital. A hospital's a mess in there. And uh, you know, church, you go in there, everything's real nice and neat and clean. Everybody comes in looking real pretty, got their nice clothes on, they're smiling, everything's in order. Nobody groaning and hurting in there, got their hair done. Whew. I'm gonna tell you, well, there's a big difference between a hospital and a church, ain't they? Glad I work in one. Now, let me tell you something. Jesus, in perhaps one of the greatest stories ever told, everybody's heard it, I guarantee you heard it, he spoke about the hospital when he said this. There was a man who was going down the road and some bandits grabbed him and attacked him. They beat the hell out of him and wounded him and they threw him in a ditch to die and he's laying in his ditch, he's dying. And these two ministers come along and they see him laying down in that ditch right there and he's, he's busted up and he's wounded and he's bleeding. Well, surely you don't expect preachers to get down in that ditch, help this man. I mean, got on their ministerial robes or if they're Baptist, they got on their suits. You can't get down there and help that fella. Get blood all over your suit and then go in there and church with a bloody suit on old ladies in the church get to talking about you and wonder where you've been then you go be in trouble with the women's missionary program or whatever and uh, so they just walk right on by him I mean, you can't get down there and help folks like that and a guy comes along and we call him the good samaritan jesus just said he was a samaritan and he sees this guy and the bible said his heart was tender so he feels for him so he gets down in there and the bible said he tried to bandage him up and the bible said he actually picked him up you know you pick up somebody's bleeding and wounded, they've been down here in the ditch in the mud. You're gonna get blood on you. You're gonna get dirty. And he picked him up, and the Bible said he took him somewhere, but he couldn't take him to a church. You can't be dragging somebody in the church and ble bleeding on the floor and dirty, and you know, they're moaning. You're trying to have your service and uh moaning and they're hurting, you know. Well, you that's not on the program. You got a program, you know, right between the right between the doxology and the first hymn, it doesn't say man moaning on the floor. So you couldn't take him to a church. So he took him somewhere, he took him to what uh, the Bible called it an inn, but he took him to a place and he took him to the man that was there, took him to folks, he said this, you take care of him, you get him well, and you heal this man that's been wounded, it's messed up. And uh, he said, I'm gonna pay for it. I'll take, he took out his bill for it, paid for it right there. And then uh, Jesus is telling the story, all of a sudden he stops and he turns and he looks at this preacher he's telling this story to, and he asked this preacher, he looked right at him, he asked this preacher, he said, which one of these people in this story did the will of God? And this preacher sort of dropped his head. I mean, he's busted. And he said, I, I, I think the man that got down in the ditch and helped this guy, got him out of the ditch and took him to a place where he could be healed. And then Jesus looked at him and he said, when are you going to start doing it? Bam! How about an in-your-face word? When are you going to start doing that? And this was the preacher he was talking to. Well, let me tell you something. You know what Jesus is telling us right there? I know you got these fancy churches with these nice steeples, stained glass, marble, polish, everything in order, got your program, got your well-trained preachers and you know, all, all this stuff going on. But you know what Jesus said in that passage right there and what he said in many places, this is my church right here. He said, this is a church right here. Apparently he means for a church to be a place where people that are messed up and broken and wounded and damaged can come into and Jesus said, Take care of this man. Heal this man. And uh, one day Jesus said he was eating dinner with some bad people. I mean, they messed up people. And preachers came walking by and they said, why, why are you eating with these messed up people? Why are you with him? And Jesus said, I want you to go learn what this means. I did not come for the righteous. I came for the sinners. I came to call sinners. That's why Jesus is not called the great preacher. <laughs> Jesus is called the great physician because he heals people. And Jesus made it real clear all through the Bible that this is what he wants his church to be. It's not a pristine, polished place for polished people who don't need no help. Jesus said, my church, it'll be called a house of prayer so the broken and the lame can come to him and heal them. Matter of fact, Jesus told his people, you said, you get in the streets of your city and you go bring me the lame and the broken and the wounded and you bring them in here so my house can be full. Isn't that something? You know what the church ought to look like? It ought to be a place where messed up, broken, bleeding people are and they're in there and they can groan if they need to, but it ought to be a house of healing. 
It's not a house of perfection. It's not a place where people are perfect. Get your mess cleaned up so you can come to church. No, come to church to get your mess cleaned up. Come to church and find the great position. So I've changed my mind. I've decided instead of working in a church where it's all polished and uppity and everybody looking looking fine, I want my church to look like this right here. I want my church to look like a hospital. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about over the entranceway where it says, welcome. I'm thinking about putting emergency room, emergency room right over the front door. Listen, you keep the polished and the perfect. You send me the ones nobody else wants. Send me the broken and the wounded and the damaged and the heart hurting. That's all I want right there. God bless you. And uh, I'll see you in the emergency room.